Elsewhere, we show how animation introduces three dynamic variables which supplement the visual variables cartographers use in the design of static maps. The dynamic variables are duration, rate of change, and order. The re-expression strategies we call reordering and pacing exploit these dynamic variables to provide alternative views of time series data sets. We start with the landslide elections shown in the preceding example, but reorder them according to the magnitude of the winning candidate's share of the vote. Now we alter the pace of the reordered sequence by varying the duration of each scene in approximate proportion to the magnitude of the landslide victory. The more lopsided the victory, the longer the scene is viewed. In the following section, we apply the three strategies for representing change to research by Liverman and O'Brien on the regional impacts of climate change in Mexico. We begin with a flyby over a terrain map of Mexico, focusing on three study sites. For Chihuahua, we will study a time series animation comparing observed temperature and precipitation values with predicted values for an atmosphere containing twice the present level of carbon dioxide. At Merida, we will use brushing to examine differences among the predictions of five different climate models. And finally, we will apply reordering and pacing to further study variability in model predictions at Puebla. A time series animation reveals seasonal variability in discrepancies among observed and predicted data at Chihuahua. The red bar represents mean monthly temperatures, and the blue bar represents precipitation. The pointers moving along the sides of the bar graphs represent the range of values predicted by five global climate models for a two times CO2 scenario. The black lines between the pointers show the mean of the model predictions. Now we apply re-expression techniques to further explore the seasonal variability of model predictions at Merida. First, we brush the temperature data to display the sequence of months in which model predictions vary the most. Temperature predictions vary the most in winter at Merida. A similar view of the precipitation data reveals a maximum range of predictions in the summer months. This pattern may be an artifact of the models, but a pattern must be noticed before it can be investigated. Reordering and pacing the temperature data associated with Puebla reveal a potentially important pattern. The red bar represents monthly mean observed temperatures. The purple zone symbolizes the range of five model predictions for a two times CO2 scenario. The light purple bar is the mean of the model predictions. 
the scenes are reordered from months in which model predictions vary the least to those varying the most. The durations of the scenes increase such that months with the greatest variation are emphasized. The re-expression reveals that the variation of model predictions is greatest at Puebla during the spring months, during the planning season. This association had gone unnoticed until the data were re-expressed for this video. At the most elementary level, we have identified three uses for the temporal dimension in cartographic animation. To emphasize the existence of a phenomenon, to depict an attribute of the phenomenon, and to express change in the phenomenon's position or attributes. At least three animation strategies are available to represent geographic phenomena that change in time and space. Flybys, time series, and re-expressions. Re-expression involves selecting and viewing subsets of scenes through brushing, reordering sequences of scenes according to some variable other than time, and pacing sequences to emphasize the differences among data values represented in the scenes. How fruitful are these techniques likely to be in other geographic analyses? Only time will tell.